This is Bobby C. And our morning sports roundup takes us out to Madison Square Garden, where the Broadway Blue Shirts got back to work. Edged by a goal in Philadelphia last week by the Flyers, the New York Rangers returned the favor at the Garden Tuesday night, winning 2-1 in grand fashion. Here's our latest Rangers center ice. The Rangers enacted some revenge over the Flyers and for the first time this early season have won back-to-back -back games. In the process, the Blue Shirts are now 500 at 3-3, three three, bouncing back from an 0-2 start to the lockout shortened season. Defenseman Michael Delzato provided an early lift, netting a quick score in the first. Rangers captain Ryan Callahan scored what turned out to be the eventual game-winning goal during a second period power play but then got hurt in the third during a post-whistle scrum. It sucks when he's uh, when he's not out there, or if he can't be out there. Uh, obviously, you know what he does, but uh, you're trying to motivate yourself, kind of pick up the slack for uh, guys that go down. The Rangers aren't making any excuses, and that also goes for the loaded schedule. But the team is happy with the way things are coming together, especially with some more practice time under their belts. Everybody's kind of in the same boat. You gotta find your game as quick as you can. And if you don't, there's no excuse. We got the momentum on our side. Uh, fans uh, got behind us, you know, they were going crazy there. And us getting that power play, we knew. Nothing was said, but we knew in the back of our mind that, you know, this is, uh, this is a key moment in the game. The Rangers may have won three of four overall, but Tortorella says the team has plenty of work to do. Two goals were enough this time with Henrik Lundqvist making 26 saves. The past couple games, uh, we're getting much more movement out of it, and obviously we scored a good goal tonight. The Blue Shirts have one game left on a three-game homestand that ends Thursday night against Pittsburgh.